Hello and thanks for tuning in to another Braille Note Touch Snapshot video. My name is Greg Silson. I'm Humanor's Product Manager of Blindness Products. In this video we're going to focus on the app that everyone tells us is the most important on the Braille Notes over the past 16 years and that is Keyword. Uh, Keyword is the Braille Note word processing application that's been around since the Braille Note Classic and uh, we're happy to say that Keyword has been rebuilt from the ground up in the Braille Note Touch. It is a much, much more powerful keyword, has many, many more options, and uh, really allows you to create professional mainstream documents uh, on your Braille Note Touch. So t for this quick video, what we're going to do is just focus on the creation process of a document, show you actually how to get in, how to create a document, and how to save it. So right now I'm on the Braille Note Touch's main menu. I see that on my Braille display. I'm going to press space with one, two, three to jump to the top of the menu. Top. Contact. And I'm Human. just using the touch screen, uh, using touch braille, typing braille on the screen to uh, actually insert my characters or, or do my control of my braille on touch. At this point I'm going to quickly hit W just like I always have to go to the word processor on my braille note. Word processor, keyword. And I'm going to press enter to activate that. So it's going to open up menu. keyword. Now I'm create. at the keyword menu and I immediately land on create and that's exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to press enter and it's opening Loading. please wait three period and now we have a box. blank document. document ready to go this is a little different than in past braille notes because in past braille notes you always had to tell it what the folder and the file name was uh, from the beginning on the braille note touch you don't have to do that uh, on the braille note touch everything's always saved uh, on the document just in case something ever happened your braille note touch will always save your keyword document so that you never have to worry about it losing uh, your your content so in this case I'm just going to do a quick introduction to my document here I'm just going to type in the same way if I was in a classroom or a meeting or something like that I'd always write my name Greg Stilson and I'm writing in contracted End Braille document. on the touch screen you may not actually be able to hear me typing because it's completely silent typing so let's pretend that I'm in a biology class so I'm going to type in the word biology 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 101 101 we'll type of in unit, unit one one and I'll do End of document. today's date which is 04 slash 04 slash 2016 April 4th 2016 and then I'm gonna go down here End and I'm gonna just type in this is this the is start the of start my of my deleted. In deleted. Five, six deleted document so I just had to delete some characters this is the start of my document so what I've done here is I've written a introduction Top. to a document that I'd be taking notes on or writing or whatever. Now what I typically would want to do is set this as uh, write justified so that it looks a little better if I were to print this out or email it or whatever. So remember that the Braille Note Touch you're always writing in a mainstream document. It's going to feel like I'm writing in a Braille first document. It feels I'm reading my Braille here. I see the new line indicators. I'll see all my Braille formatting etc etc. But I'm in a DOCX file right now so I could send this to a teacher, colleague, uh, parent whatever and it would require absolutely no translation whatsoever so at this point I'm gonna start I'm gonna show you quickly how to do selection in the Braille Note Touch so now rather than having to go through that kind of convoluted block commands menu we just have one command to toggle selection start and selection end so I'm putting my cursor at the beginning of Greg and I'm gonna pr press enter with S to start selection selection start Okay, it says selection start. Bottom. And now I'm going to go to where the date ends, 4 slash 4 slash 2016, and I'm going to put my cursor after that. I see a blinking cursor on my display to tell me that I'm still selecting content. And I'm going to press enter with S again. Unit 1, selection end. So selection mm -hmm. end. And now in Braille, I see dot 7 and 8 covering everything that I have selection here, or have I have selected. Now, I can do the long way of checking out, let's say I don't remember how to write justify something or write align something. So what I can do is do space with M to go into my contextual menu. This is a Context new menu, menu. that's functions. available in all Keysoft options. It basically gives you all the options that are available in each application and it also tells you the different shortcuts on how to do that. So what I'm going to do is use my next thumb key, so that says file functions. I'm going to go next editing functions there's editing functions and if I hit next again format functions there's format functions okay so I'm going to activate that with my cursor router key format functions and the alignment. first item says alignment I'm going to hit that with my cursor router key again alignment align left backspace with L 
And now you see that it says align left backspace with L. If I hit next. Align center, enter with C. Align center, enter with C. Align right, enter with R. Align right, enter with R. So if I activate this right now. Four paragraphs right aligned. It says four and paragraphs pause. right aligned, and that just means that four lines there were right aligned. And at this stage now, you oh. may not visually see it on the screen because keyword in this view is designed for a blind user to understand exactly the formatting. So on my braille display here, I see a symbol that looks like dollar sign R Greg Stilson. On the next line, dollar sign R Biology 101, telling me that those lines are right aligned. So myself as a blind reader of this document, I'm understanding not only the content of the document, but how it's formatted. But if I visually want to show you if uh, I have a sighted teacher, colleague, or parent who wants to take a look at this, I can press enter with V, and that generates a visual preview that's available right there. And now you see at the top, you see a visual preview that looks just like a standard Microsoft DOCX file with the content right aligned, so it visually looks nice for this, the teacher or the sighted colleague. I'm going to do space with E, and I'm immediately back in my Braille first view of the document where I can do all my editing and things like that. So now I've done, I've, I'm ready to go, I'm going to save this file. So to save this file I'm going to press space with S and if I didn't know how to do that I could press space with M to go into my context menu so I'll do that right now. Context menu. Context file menu, functions. we'll go into file functions and press enter. File functions. And you see save save with S. space with F, S. I'm going to press, I'm going to activate that. Save as location slash storage slash emulated slash zero slash download name. Okay, new document, it's putting it. File type. It's putting it in Docs, the save, download cancel. folder, and it's reading me all the contents. So it's saying it's putting me in the slash storage slash downloads folder, and currently the file name is new document. Well, let's call this uh, video it. document ID. Video. Video. Video document. Document. And I don't know if you heard that, but it said dot docs. Okay, so we can choose where we want to put this. So at this stage, let's right now it's current location slash source slash emulated slash zero slash download. So it's putting it in the downloads folder, which I will probably be okay with, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to change that. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna hit my previous thumb key again. Location button. It says location button. If I activate the location key button, files. it brings up key files, which Gray. is LBR our actual folder. Um mm -hmm which is our actual file browser. Now I'm going to pre I press the back button which is the triangle thumb or triangle button on the front of the the device or I could have chosen the go back one directory option um, here. But I did that. Now this this is the root directory of the Braille Note Touch. So this means that these are all the folders that are available on the Braille Note Touch and at this point I can hit D. Let's go ahead and put it in the downloads folder. So I'm going to hit D. Some folder. Documents folder. D again. Download folder. So there's download, and we'll press enter. Branch Grisham and these are all the files that I have in my download folder. I can hit S. Select this folder. And it says select this folder. I'm going to press enter. Save as location slash. And store. now it's I'm back in the save as dialog kind of area where I can give it a file name. Right now it still says video document. That's fine. And if I hit my next thumb key. Docs, I now download. see DOCX, and if I hit save next button. again, there's the save button, and I am in good shape. I'm going to press the th the th uh, cursor router key here, edit, edit and at this stage, Biology. it is now saved at this point, and I am in back at uh, my document. I can do a space with E. Alert exit keyword. And it's e just confirming if I did anything different. If I wanted to save it any further, I'm going to hit N for no. No button. And press enter. Keyword menu. Create. And the document has been saved and ready to go. Now, if I wanted to reopen that, I'm back at my keyword menu. So we'll just go back to my main menu and show you from main the menu. start. Here's the main menu. I'm going to hit W. Word processor. Keyword. Press enter. Keyword menu. Back at Create. the keyword menu, I'm going to press O for open. Bottom. Open. And enter. Key files. And it always takes me into the last document or last folder where my document was previously opened. So in this case, I'm going to hit V. Video document. And there's the Docs. video document. I'm going to press enter. Loading. Please wait three periods. And it's right there. Docs. And Drive. just so you visually see it, I'm going to press enter with V again. Edit box. Drive. There's your Page preview. And at this stage, you see that it's all formatted, ready to go. So that is just a quick video tutorial on how to create, modify a little bit of formatting, types and documents, 
how to save a document, and then ultimately how to open it. So we want to thank you for joining in on this uh, Braille Note Touch Snapshot tutorial video, and stay tuned for future, video, future videos in this series. Thanks again.